Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. It's Brandon with Campbell Fitness. It's the day after Thanksgiving. I hope you guys all had a great one out there. Hopefully you didn't track too many of your macros and you didn't really stress out about what you were eating. You just enjoyed the food and times with your friends and family. Unless, of course, you're an asshole and you don't have any friends or family who want to hang out with you. And in the meantime, maybe you spent your time watching some of my videos, in which case, hey, thank you. Anyways, back to a more serious note here. It's Friday. I wanted to get out the shoe review today. However, I don't have a lot of free time, only a couple minutes. So I want to do a video that's a little bit shorter to the point, would require less editing on my part. And is a topic that you guys have been asking a lot about, and that is beta alanine. So I've been getting a lot of comments on this recently. I had a video on the subject on my old channel. Instead of just porting it over, I figured this would be a good one just to do a new video on. Get me in front of the camera, a little loosened up a bit. I know a lot of you guys make comments on some of my older videos that I'm very boring and robotic. It's not so much that I'm not comfortable in front of the camera, although sitting here by myself, no camera crew, no other people in the room, looking at a camera, Trying to have a conversation and be personable isn't necessarily the most easiest thing to do out there. It's just a lot of times when I do videos that are more educational driven, just simply information I want to pass on. It doesn't really do me any good to insert a lot of dick and fart jokes. Although, when I do insert dick and fart jokes, get it? Insert dick. I do get a better response from you guys on it, so I figured I'd just go ahead and do that for this video itself. So first of all, for beta alanine, before I get into it, what I will say are supplements aren't necessary. And it's important to say this because if I don't, plenty of you will say that in the comment section below. Well, why are you watching this? You don't need supplements to see gains. I agree, you don't. However, there are some out there that can be beneficial. I think a lot of us are just jaded about it because there are so many out there that don't do jack squat. That's why I don't really do a ton of supplement reviews on here because most of them are just insert random supplement name here and then a two or three minute video of me saying, you know what, it hasn't been shown to actually do anything. So for this, beta alanine is important because it has actually been shown to be beneficial. There's only really a few supplements in my opinion that fall under this umbrella. Beta alanine is one, creatine is another, and possibly citrulline malate is the third, which I've done a video on I believe on this channel as well. Let me catch my breath because I'm starting to ramble a little bit. <clears throat> so for beta alanine, typically you'll find it a lot of times in pre-workouts. However, anyone out there that knows anything about beta alanine, you'll know you don't really need it as a pre-workout because it doesn't have any acute effects. Meaning when you take it, you don't really have any immediate response or benefits of taking it. However, why most people take it in a pre-workout is one, because they're already taking other supplements at the time and the convenience factor of just adding it in makes it very simple. And number two, what most people know about beta alanine is the tingling, or better known more scientifically as paresthesia. And what this really feels like are pins and needles. So some people get them in their nose, in the tips of their ears, their fingertips, wherever you might be. Some people have this response where they almost feel like they're numb in certain parts of their body. Now while this numbness doesn't really do anything for you, when people take it as part of a pre-workout and they feel their body getting this hot sensation, they equate that with whatever pre-workout they're taking is working. So although it doesn't have any actual benefits, the mental aspect of it could be a huge boost for some people. Now as far as what beta alanine does, the basics behind it, I'm gonna keep it very simple. With anything that I do here, if you wanna get more detailed information, I highly suggest you actually do some of your own research. That's the best way to do it, rather than rely on somebody just standing in front of a camera in a room by themselves talking about dicks and fart jokes. So as far as this goes, the main thing behind it is, is it helps with both energy production and fatigue, meaning you're not gonna be as tired going forward. So it helps kind of mask that and push through. So for this, when you're working out, obviously in the long run, it's gonna be beneficial because your strength endurance is going to be higher, meaning you can work out longer and so forth, which we all know we love to do. So this is a great supplement to add into your supplement stack if you're looking to do so. As far as the dosages goes, there's a lot of research out there. I'm gonna to try to link some in the description box below, but generally speaking, anywhere between two to six grams is desirable. Now again, with this, depending on how you react to it as far as the tingling sensation goes, you might wanna start off with a lower dose. I will also say in a lot of the studies that are done, the actual servings of beta alanine were split up throughout the course of the day. Again, this is to somewhat address that paresthesia that comes with it. So let's say for instance, you wanna take three grams a day, you might actually wanna split that up into one gram doses three times per day, or if you can handle it, you can take it all at once. It's really up to you. Now getting back to the main effects of it here being in the long run and no real acute benefits, you can take it whenever you want with whatever you want. So I know that's a common question that comes up with creatine. 
Don't really stress about it. Just make sure that you take it pretty consistently. Maybe not necessarily every single day, but at least try to take it on most days. A general rule of thumb is if you take it on the days you work out, which for most of us is at least four days per week, you should be good in that regard. Now, another thing I'll say about beta alanine is just like creatine, there's different kinds out there. For example, for creatine, we typically recommend you go with a Creapure type brand. It's a higher quality. For beta alanine, the same thing is said, but the brand name you want to look out for is Carnison. So Carnison beta alanine is what you want to look for. If you take tier one or Totalis as far as pre-workouts go, they both include that brand name in there so you know that they're solid. But in the end, beta alanine again is something that could show you benefit in the long run. I would much rather you guys spend your money on something like this than with something that doesn't actually work. But regardless, it's your money, it's up to you, and in the meantime, stay big.